In certain cases, what can happen is that instead of one, you may have multiple algebraic expressions. Okay, so let's say for example, you have something like 3x square plus 4y minus 2xy. Okay, then you have 7x square minus 4y plus 3xy. Okay, and let's take another one minus 4x square plus 3xy minus 2y okay and you are told to add the three expressions okay now you can also follow the normal clubbing method to solve this so you put this as one then put in a plus here and put in a plus here then you start rearranging all the ones with common literal or the like ones and put them together and do the solution the other method of doing this is the columnar method now in columnar method what you do is first write down any of the expressions so let's say I write down 3 x square plus 4 y minus 2 x y okay now when you go to the second one what do you do basically you start picking up the terms one by one and start to arrange them below the column let's say this is column number one this is column number two and this is column number three and you start putting them below the terms which have like literals so let's say for example you have 7x square where is the one with x square? Your literal in this case is x square. x square is here. So I put 7x square over here. 7x square. I retain the sign which was there plus. Then 4y. So the literal is y. Okay. I take this here and I write minus 4y plus 3xy. Again, xy is here. So I write this as plus 3xy. Right? The next one again minus 4 x square where is x square x square is here so I write it as minus 4 x square plus 3 x y now please note that this column represents y this column represents x y so this has to come in column number 3 plus 3 x y minus 2 y obviously this goes here once you have arranged this then you just write down the literals as it is okay and do the sum of the respective coefficients so you have minus 2 here so minus 2 plus 3 will give you 1 1 plus 3 gives you 4 if if you are doing it for the first time you can also write it as minus 2 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 4 and put it 4 here in this case you have 4 first one then minus 4 minus 2 so 4 minus 4 is 0, minus 2 is minus 2, minus 2, right? Similarly here, take the sum of the coefficients, 3 plus 7 minus 4, 10 minus 4, 6. And like this, you get the sum. This is basically the columnar method. So you arrange the variables, arrange the literals in various columns. Okay, take the first one as the base, then basically wherever you have, you kind of just start putting it below that. It might just happen that in some cases, a particular variable may or may not be there in all the examples. So let's say for example, if minus 2y was not here, then what would have happened? You would have arranged the first and the second. The third one, you would have put in minus 4x square here, plus 3xy would have come here. What would happen here? Because you don't have anything below this variable, you will leave this blank. Okay? And then at the time of addition, you will assume that you have a zero here. Right?